Madam First Lady of Zambia, Madam Esther Longo, uh, Honorable Minister of Health, uh, thank you very much for uh, our partnership. And of course, uh, I address also uh, with all protocol uh, reserved. Uh, to all honorable ministers uh, available with us here and uh, honor us with the time to attend the launch of Merck Foundation and also parliament members, uh, all the stakeholders and partners, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for uh, being with us today. Um, after uh, the story of Jacqueline and uh, what you witnessed, you understand, of course, why uh, Merck more than a mother is very critical to uh, Africa. And to all uh, the uh, women who suffer uh, in silence uh, because they think they have no right to uh, even complain because uh, for their perception, they lost their purpose in life. And their purpose in life and their understanding and the understanding of all the communities uh, or most of the communities is to bring children. And if they fail to do that for any reason, even if they are not the one who's the cause, uh, they, they lost the purpose in life and then they have to just wait uh, uh, to die and or accept any treatment. And this is not uh, fair and we should not accept that. Because as we know that infertility caused uh, by men and women equally. So uh, uh, men and women are equally affected by infertility. And also infertility is a condition and can be prevented and can be treated. So it is not a, a, a taboo or a stigma that people should hide from. It's actually we should encourage everyone to speak openly and discuss openly the infertility and share the responsibility of finding the, the, the treatment uh, or the solution because there is too many solutions also uh, uh, for uh, uh, infertility like adoption and surrogacy and other things. So. We don't want to speak about this in details because this is going to be uh, in another place where we have the scientific education and the training for the doctors and for uh, community uh, awareness training for community educators or for the training we provided for the first time for the media representative from Zambia from across all provinces to uh, educate them how to address the infertility stigma, how to sensitize the communities that stigma is not a, not a taboo, and how it's uh, uh, to raise awareness about male infertilities. Because I believe and we believe strongly that media is a strong partner in addressing any sensitive issue or addressing any topic regarding community awareness because they enter every house and every home and everyone listen to them in all languages uh, and in every uh, everywhere even in a small village somewhere in the heart of Africa so I think this will uh, under the patronage and in partnership with her ex with uh, her excellency the first lady of Zambia uh, and the Ministry of Health will uh, add a very uh, good uh, uh, impact uh, because from today as I understand from the training of health media they will start to speak about and normalize speaking about infertility but we also, uh, in our partnership uh, with Madame Esther Longo and uh, uh, Minister, Ministry of Health, we have also addressed another uh, pressing issue than Merck more than a mother, which is the cancer access. So access to cancer care is uh, also a challenge. And we cooperated with the Ministry of Health to provide one year and two years oncology fellowship programs for doctors from Zambia. We have already uh, uh, finished three doctors who I think they are with us today and they will be awarded today. Uh, they came back from pediatric oncology, gynecology, oncology and surgical oncology, which is very much in demand to uh, improve their cancer access in Zambia. And we have a list of other doctors from uh, doctor from each provenance. As we promised, uh, uh, Madam First Lady, uh, that uh, we are uh, going to uh, cascade this nationwide. So it will not be only for doctors from the capital, but it will be a doctor from each provenance. So they come back and uh, uh, improve uh, the uh, quality uh, of the cancer care in uh, their community and in their place. Uh, it's not only uh, will be uh, adapted to uh, oncology, but also for fertility. So uh, uh, we providing also fertility 
specialist training and we agreed also with Madame First Lady and Minister of Health that we are going to provide this fertility training also for doctors from each province and for diabetes as well. And as well for diabetes. So I think uh, with the vision of uh, nationwide uh, uh, cancer uh, access to healthcare, uh, which has been adopted with our long-term partnership with Madame First Lady and Ministry of Health, we will uh, leave an amazing impact and Zambia will be the best practice of uh, uh, conducting uh, capacity building programs in healthcare. Uh, of course, uh, coming back to Merck more than a mother, because this is very close to my heart as an African woman. I am from Egypt, and uh, as a pharmacist, uh, I don't want uh, any woman uh, across Africa or any country, even Asia, also the same problem, to suffer from uh, the stigma of infertility. That's why we are going to cooperate with all sectors, not only education for medical doctors like we agreed, not only that uh, uh, we are going to provide training for the media like we we said, but we also cooperate with art. So we launched uh, uh, two uh, uh, actually uh, awards. One of them we are going to launch today, which is the Fashion Award, Merck More Than a Mother Fashion Award. I want to encourage the uh, fashion industry in partnership with, her, with Madame First Lady and uh, Zambia Fashion Week. Uh, to uh, uh, encourage all the fashion designers to come up with a design from their natural setting to spread the, the, the uh, message of no to infertility stigma. Or women are more than mothers. Or empower infertile women. Any kind of messages that can go across uh, everyone wearing it or seeing it to know that there is a stigma we have to break and we have to normalize infertility and empower infertile women. And the winners of this award after we will launch it uh, in, uh, during the program uh, properly. But the winners of these awards will be fashion designers who will be uh, giving an award of certain amount of money to execute their design and to be able to exhibit it in the uh, Zambia Fashion Week. So in Zambia Fashion Week, we are going to have a, a fashion show about infertility and about breaking the fertility stigma every year. So uh, this is uh, going to be launched here in Zambia and across Africa and each country so we can include very important aspects of uh, fashion industry and made in Africa uh, to also address topics and issues of Africa so from Africa for Africa so this is very uh, very important Um, this uh, also, and there is film award we are going to launch later, uh, which is also for the best drama movie or film short movie about infertility. The, we, what you see now is documentary, but there is also a drama uh, movie that can be with famous actresses and actors can actually also address the stigma of infertility and sensitize the community when you see a story with a beginning and an end in uh, maybe half an hour or 20 minutes. So uh, I think I, I I addressed everything except one thing, which we are going also to see a song for a Zambian singer. Thank you very much. She made a very, very nice song about infertility and empowering infertile women. And she will sing this song later. And this song, it's a practice for each country. We have a song from each country. We have from Rwanda, from Kenya, from Ghana, from uh, Sierra Leone, uh, from Gambia. And we will have a song from each country with uh, the local language to address the topic. So uh, finally, I thank Madame First Lady uh, of Zambia, uh, Madame Esther Longo, and uh, for her uh, gracious uh, generosity and gracious acceptance of being the ambassador of Merck More Than a Mother and her efforts to uh, uh, achieve the objectives of Merck Foundation programs to build healthcare capacity in uh, the country. Uh, finally, I would like to tell you that I loved very much the national anthem. It is very touchy and I need a copy of the national anthem, uh, strong and free. And I think this is, I will use this in one of the campaigns, strong and free, for myself as well. I feel, I felt it like, you want to say everywhere you are strong and free. And this is great. Thank you very, very, very much. Thank you.